That's good stuff. Oh, classic. I can't wait to see those kitties grow up. Yeah. All right. So today, uh, another beautiful day. We're still trending in the week. Very simple forecast for everybody this week. Nothing really too big that we're going to be tracking other than a little bit of rain on Friday. Okay. So uh, with that, I do want to also give you an update on the hurricane potential in the Pacific. But right now, just giving you a little highlight of where we hit our highs today across western Washington and the rain gauges, or I should say the surface observation sites across the area. So 77 in Seattle, uh, looks like Puyallup hit 79, Chehalis at 81. And uh, we had a lot of the warm spots hanging around down the southern part of the state as uh, many of them moved uh, into the warm category yet again. And so I think as we head into the next couple of days, we are going to continue to see temperatures trend right about here and then eventually seeing a little bit of a shift once we get that cool down to work its way through. All right. Moving on, here we go. High pressure ridge in control, mild temperatures hanging out. We got a couple of showers off Nia Bay, nothing big. Low pressure system here, that's the rainstorm arriving on Friday and then zooming out even further. There are the storms in the uh, Pacific down towards the tropics that are heading right towards Hawaii. And so right now, these are pretty massive hurricanes. All right, Hurricane Eric, we've got Hurricane Flossy. It's just fun to say, but Hurricane Eric is going to be the closest one. If we take a look at that, currently uh, cat four speed, 130 mile per hour winds, and as it moves west northwest, uh, eventually cooling down, or I should say the waters will be trending a little cooler, which would then, of course, make that hurricane downgrade in intensity, which is good. You want that to happen as it gets closer to landmass. And by the time it gets closer to the Big Island, we're at a cat one status, big swells for the south side, uh, maybe a little bit of storm surge, but it's so far away, I don't think we're going to see a major impact for the Hawaiian Islands. All right, back at home. So the marine layer, that's been an issue the last couple of mornings. Not really bad, just morning clouds, afternoon sun. Tomorrow, a lot of that's going to stay confined to the coast. I think for most of us inland, we're talking about sunshine first thing in the morning. And then uh, we will eventually see all of that action work its way eastward by the time we head into Thursday evening and into Friday. So that time specifically, Thursday, we are going to see that cloud deck move through. And that's going to, of course, bring some rain. So here's Friday timeline now, overnight Thursday into Friday. There's the showers. I'm thinking this is going to be a morning uh, event by 1 30 the front is through showers hanging up in the higher terrain spotty showers down low and then by the evening we clear out fast and that means sunshine expected for the weekend remember the crystal balls talking about about 10 minutes ago all right, so crystal ball calls for temperatures in the 80s for saturday sunday mostly sunny skies the only day we got rain is going to be on friday sounds good jordan thank you <laughs>